Good morning, everybody. Cheryl here with Inked Pulp, and we are back with another art before breakfast. Oh, I was awake early this morning. Woke up at like three o'clock. Way, way, way too early. Oh, I've already got two people in here. Anybody who wants to talk? So I played a little more yesterday um, after we got off. Hey, oh, thank you, Susan. I'm at actually 106 now, or maybe even 107. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. That was my goal for the end of the year was to hit a thousand and I made it before the end of the year. So that's really, really exciting. All right. So hi, April. So I did a little more yesterday. You remember this and we had those little glittery and I tried to put a snowflake up here and that didn't work on the other one. So here's how he eventually came out. And I think I may just round the corners on these. I don't know if I'll put a topper on it. We'll see. But isn't that cute? Got a little package down there. A little apothecary Christmas. And our little guy. And some sparkly ribbon with Christmas greetings on it. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Pam. So anyway, that's how that one came out. And then I also made, you know, these, how I have the little, um, the little uh, index cards. Well, they're not little. These are like the four by six. Or So I have this stamp that I absolutely love. I have used this on Christmas cards before. And so I stamped Oh, hey, Mimi. I stamped the tree, and then I did use red stickles, and I let it dry overnight so it's all dry, and I put the berries on with some stickles. So I made that, and then I wanted it to be thin enough to, you know, like have a pocket on in the journal so I folded it a little shorter and I had this sticking out rather than cut it off I just folded it in and made a, a little pocket out of it and then I did um, I wanted to try Mimi's idea of taking one of these coloring book pages I think it was Mimi who said this I always mix up Mimi and Big Mama they're, they're like two peas in a pod I took this coloring book page and folded it up and I really want to crease it down well so it fits and so maybe I'll just put put this in here like this and that'll be the Christmas page. It was you. I thought it was. And then I had these little, they're cardboard ornaments. And so I just took one and decorated it. It already had the paper on it. It was like collage, different Christmas papers. Hi, Marty. And so I just put some cheesecloth and some thread and um, I put some gold around the edges and gold on the little top and then a little ribbon topper. And I made this little Christmas ornament and it can be written on in the back. So those are the things that I worked on yesterday. And then just a reminder, we did these yesterday. So we have these two. So we're getting some ephemera here for our little journal. Oh, and I have to show you this. This one that I just put together, this is going right in the front because look at how cute this is when you put this down in here. Look at that. He just sort of peeks out the top. Isn't that cute? So that one's going to go up front. 
Hey, Mimi, I haven't looked yet this morning to see if you answered, but here's your, this is just my pattern on top here. It'll be all copper, but here's your three crosses on a hill. Let me put some. <clears throat> something behind it so you can see now what i need to know is if you want this um, nightlight to be green patina or brown patina and then i can finish that up today so let me know yeah that's going to be a nightlight isn't that pretty? And I picked this pattern because it it kind of looks like they're turned. See how the edge, you'll see it better when it gets, I wish I had something dark to put behind this. Hang on a second. Maybe too much the same color, but anyway, the way the crosses are cut, it's like they're turned. And so you can see some edges on it. I know, you'll just have to tell me what you want. I hope you like the picture that I picked out. I like it. All right. Let's get started. Oh, one other thing I did. So I had these little, um, I had these little Christmas trees that I had oh, you, a few years ago, I had seen somebody make them. Isn't that cute? You use double-sided paper and make these little Christmas trees. And so I wanted to try it. And I only had a two inch punch. So you make a circle, cut it in half, and then fold it so that it makes a little Christmas tree. Isn't that cute? So I ordered a three inch punch. I think it'll be here today. Um, so we could maybe make a few of these to put throughout the book. And I can do some little ones. And I don't have to put the gems on them. I can just, this is actually cute just the way it is. green oh i know isn't that cute that little thing i haven't glued it down yet i had to go back and deconstruct it and oh have you seen these before susan or no you just love the ones that i made i had to go back and deconstruct it to see how to put it together um how to fold it so We'll do some more of those once I get a bigger punch. We can do the little ones, but it'll be better with the bigger ones. So then we can, you know, kind of make a little scene out of them. And then the last thing I did yesterday, I was playing yesterday. Um, I took some of that tissue paper that I used in my Marguerite Miller challenge. It has little angels on it. And I wadded it up into a rope. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I just twirled it up and made a little flower out of it. I don't know that we'll use that in here, but I can put some leaves behind it and a little stem. But that's made out of tissue paper. So I played a little bit. Well, the electrician came and I had to be down here when he was down here. So I uh, sat here and did this stuff. Then I thought we'll do this when we get to the point where we need it these little circles i punched out of some um cardstock that had these on it okay they're just little and these were all over the cardstock so i punched out a bunch of them and i grunged up the edges and i thought i would take just a little strip of paper and put let's alternate let's go green and red and green and red and i thought we could or maybe i'll just do three 
spread them apart a little bit. Um, and then maybe put cheesecloth behind them or something. Um, some lace or maybe a strip of lace down the middle. But I thought that would be a fun um, decoration, kind of going down the side of a page or maybe off the side of a page. So, and I could make a few of them. So anyway, I did that. And I don't know if this is exactly the color, you know, paper that I need. Maybe a dark red would be prettier behind that. I don't know. But anyway, those are some of the things that I did yesterday. And then I have this half circle that I made this tree out of. So we could use this as a tab and put like a little Santa on it and make a tab out of it on the page. So many things. You just got to keep all your little scraps and see how you can use them together. All right. Let's make something for today. Oh, I have one more thing, and maybe we want to make this today. So I was making an envelope to mail out um, Julie's uh, Happy Mail, and I cut off a piece. I had a piece of cardstock folded over to make, like, an envelope to stick that in, and I had too much. So I cut this off, and I thought that this... Um, would be really cute over the top of a page. So shall we make this today? So tell me, you love it. Tell me what, um, what you think about this idea. I've got all sorts of paper that we can use to cover on. Oh, I've got tons and tons of scraps. Oh, now there's some shiny silver paper. It's all very iridescent. And I've got some scraps. And then I've got, I pulled out some of my larger papers because, ooh, this would work. That's long enough that that would work for that. We could use that. And do a snowflake thing. And I've got lots of offcuts. I don't know quite why I have so many, but I do. Do you guys keep all your scraps? Look at this that I just saw. Hang on. I think these were from Christmas cards, offcuts when I made Christmas cards. Oops. Got one stuck on here with some glue. Got a big glue smudge right there. There it goes. Um, so yeah, I've got some fun shapes that we can use. I do have other papers. I love this one too. Um, so let me give you a couple of choices here for this piece. We can do A and it wouldn't have the black on the edge, just the red um, and white snowflakes. We could use um, B, the green. Now remember, this would be a background. Um, we could use C, which I don't know. This, well... It's just about wide enough to get almost both. So I could do like the two stripes and then this down the middle. Although it kind of seems like it should go this way. Let's not use that one. So we have A and B. And let me see what else I have. Uh, 
that one's not tall enough. That's still on the pad. Oh, this is cute. And then I have the, the stockings. They almost look like the Grinch's stockings, don't they? And that's about it. For this piece. Oh, I have I do have one more. Okay, so here's our choices. A is the red background and white snowflakes. B is this green deal. C are the stockings and D is this one. So give me a vote, A, B, C, or D to cover this little over the page tag. A, B, C, D, what do you think, ladies? Okay, I have one for the stockings. What about the rest of you? Two for the stockings. One for B. So that we don't get the vote too spread out, let's narrow it down to these two. Three for C. So it looks like the stockings are going to be it. Those are so cute, aren't they? All right. Now we do need to put something on the inside as well. So maybe we can use this one. Well, no, because we probably want that to be writing space. So I'll just do that with like some coffee dyed paper. Hi, April. So we're making more ephemera for the Christmas journal. Danny, stop looking. She's got a sore on her foot and she keeps looking at it. Hey, stop looking. It's going to heal just fine without that looking. And there she goes right back to it. Sometimes I have to wrap her foot in um, tape, like a medicinal, you know, tape. And she actually, when it's still hurting her, she'll leave it on because I think it feels good. Um but as soon as she starts healing, she rips it off. So that's when I know it's good enough. And depending on how severe, she cut her webbing on her foot real deep one time. And we probably should have gone and, would you show the cross again? Oh, yeah. Hang on here. Let me, I've got glue on my fingers with this. Let me um, do this real quick. And then, yes, I'll hold it up. I am happy to hold it up. Oh, come on. So that's not cut exactly straight. We'll have to cut that. Um, the crosses. And actually, hang on, I've got some darker paper now so that you can see it better. And again, the white is going to come off. That's just my pattern. So there it is. So yeah, just let me know if you want green or brown. Thank you, Cheryl. 
I got to finish up some night lights. I have a whole bunch cut out. I've got a couple of the gnomes. Um, and Cheryl had an order in for a gnome. So I'm going to do those both in green and let her pick the one she wants. And then I've got people from my shows emailing me about. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do this. Fold it over, and then I'm going to cut it on my paper cutter. Because this is just too hard to do by hand. It's too long of a cut, and I can't cut that straight. Oh, really? Did they sell right away? I bet they did. There, nice and straight. And now this end. There we go. Now we've got a nice over the page pocket that's nice and straight. Hey Mike. All right, so there we go. They're upside down on one side, but that's okay. They're right side up on this side. So what shall we put? Or decorations. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Eight crosses and seven horseshoes. Wow. That tells me he's probably not charging enough when they sell out that fast. Look at that over the top of a page. That is just darling. All right, and then I could take a paper clip and put like a sticker, like maybe one of these on the front of it and hold it down with a paper clip. All right, let's see. What do we want to put? I'm going to need to um, um, back this with some other paper, but I'll do that offline so we don't take up time here to do it. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, they are really nope. Now we could put her on there, but I don't think she goes with the wonky stockings. Unless you guys think she does. I could cut out this Santa and we could put this Santa on here. I think I might have one of these cut out. Oh, I have this. What if we put that on there with something behind it? Hey, Big Mama. Art with breakfast, couldn't we? <laughs> what do you guys think about Santa on there? We could just leave it kind of simple. I like. Yeah, not everything has to be super elaborate. Now, I also could do a puffer. Or 
where's Lori B been? I think I saw something that said she was going to be off of social media for a little while. I don't know if she's having, you know, some medical stuff done or family coming in or finishing up journals. Not sure what she's got going on, but I miss her. Oh, Big Mama, I need to ask you too. Hang on a second. Um, I got the three crosses on a hill cut out of the copper. And I'm ready to finish it today, hopefully. And I need to know if you want the brown patina or the green patina on it. And the green could turn out anywhere from aqua to a darker green. It just comes out how it comes out. Hang on, I'll show you the... There, and we'll, puff, we'll stand him up just a little bit. So, Big Mama, hey there, Vanessa. Um, Big Mama, this is what the cross is. Now, the white is the pattern that I had glued down to cut from, so that'll go away. But um, here's the crosses on the hill. And I just need to know if you want brown or green patina. And if anybody else wants one of those, just let me know. I'm happy to um, make you one. They are normally, the retail on those is 33 but I sell them to my online friends for 30 so you get a 10% discount. Green, you want green? Okay. Did you decide, Mimi, on yours? Hmm. That doesn't seem awfully sticky. I'm not going to use that piece. This one is more recent, and I am going to put a little bit of extra. Now, you just had the one, right, Mimi? I mean, um, Big Mama? I don't, I think you just ordered the one. So Mimi sent me um, the address for Julie yesterday, and I got her. Well, actually, I had already missed the um, mail by the time I took it out there. So I was out there first thing in the morning, though, putting it in the mailbox. So it's going out today. There's Santa all ready to stand up a little bit off of this card. Let me put this up here. Boy, I was so disappointed yesterday when the electrician was here. We had, um, when we first moved in here, um, and I was going to use the basement as my shop, there were just a couple of hanging light bulbs. There was not much light down here. So I hired an electrician. Aw, probably need something up here. Um, hired an electrician to come in and put lights. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I think I've got five light fixtures throughout row six throughout the um, basement and some of the ones that he put in were just single bulb 
you know, on there. And then the rest of them, they're all double bulb. Well, those single bulb pieces are disposable. So, um, hi, Paula. So one of them um, blew out, had a surge, and it, how about if we just put Christmas up here? Um, it blew out, and so I haven't had it to use. And when the electrician was here, I asked him if he could fix it. And he said, he said, those kind of lights that the first electrician put in are um, meant to be disposable. So once they're out, they're out. You just have to buy a new one. And that's what my husband got up there to try and um, fix it. And he found the same thing. He couldn't. He couldn't get the cover off to put, nope, not that. Let's put a little piece of something, something over here. One of my scraps. Nope, that green blends with the green. I need something red or bright. Some of these have tape on the back. They have like double-sided tape on them from when I was using them. Oh, how about that? We don't need it quite that wide. I don't want to cover up too much of the, um, I don't want to cover up too much of the stockings because then we won't see them. So I'm going to rough up these little edges a bit. So he's got to come back and you got to go get a light for me and come back and put it in. And that, um, that light fixture was actually over my, um, my metal bench, so it doesn't really affect this here. So what do you think about that? Do you guys like that little Christmas there? Yay, nay? Norm, what do you guys say in Norm about? <laughs> All right, well, we're going to put the Christmas there. Big Mama likes it. It's got just a little something to back it. Glitter his hat. Oh, I've created a monster. Hang on a sec. I've created a monster with this glitter stuff. All right, that's going to go over the top. Now we probably need to do something on the back too because it's going to go over the page. Um, I 
I'm going to come back to the glitter. I know you do. I had glitter all over my pants yesterday. Um, I will glitter his hat, but I'm not going to do it on camera. I'll do it off camera so I don't get glitter everywhere. Does everybody else want his hat glittered? He's also got fur around his sleeves and around. Let's hold off and see if we use another image that might be easier to glitter. Let's let's see what we come up with. OK, what are we going to do on this side now? And we need something bigger because this one is upside down. Um, we could do a little Christmas bingo card and we could just do a couple of Just sort of do those. A bingo card. This one says, try Artmore's minced meat, minced meat and genuine English plum pudding. Yes to the glitter on the hat. Yes, glitter. Okay. <laughs> All right. What about that for the back? Just something simple. And then maybe I can put like a little red dot or something in here. Let's see what else I have. I have these little kids that just say Merry Christmas, but then we have two that say Merry Christmas. I don't like that. Of this one, the Merry Christmas is at the bottom, so it would be covered up. Okay, do you like the girl and the boy on there? Or the mincemeat thing on there? Mincemeat or the girl and the boy? And while you're deciding, I'm going to ink. Kids, yeah, they're cute. I didn't realize how much ephemera I had. All right, now. No, I don't want to do that. I was thinking I could make a pocket. And see, that covers up pretty much all those upside down stockings. Mince meat pie. Yeah. Only they have it as two words on here. I don't know. I'm so fast with the questions. I know. I know. Big Mama wants the mincemeat. I have two for the mincemeat. And only one for the kids. We can use the kids on something else. 
We'll go mincemeat here. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to put these at little angles on here. wanted to eat the pie. All right, let me glue these two together first and then I'll put them down as one. Oops. Um, all right, Cheryl, I hope everything's okay. All right, do we need anything behind it? Some... I don't think so, because it's got all the color from the stockings. So I don't know that we need... All right. There. There's one piece. Oh, bye, Susan. Y'all are leaving me. What's up with that? What's up with that? Why is... I don't know. Um... I'm not really picky. Anybody who wants to be a mod on here can be a mod. Just let me know. <laughs> if somebody would message me or email me or put it in here, the name of what you use for your gold splatters. The only gold I have is a gold wax that I used on that ornament that I made. Um, and you, wax doesn't splatter. I mean, you can't add water to it and splatter it. Um, so, oh, hey, I was going to tell you guys one other thing. If any of you want to make a piece or two of ephemera to go in this journal, you are welcome to and send it to me. So there we go. There's a little Christmas flip. And then the back just has that on it. So that's going to be cute. over the top of a page. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? All right, so there's a piece of ephemera. Let's make another one real quick um, so that I have at least two made today. We could make a tag out of this. This is pretty straightforward. It's a good size. And um, I've got some bigger. Hey, Stacy. Hey, 
I've got this. This is a real retro snowman. We could put a snowman on here. Or I have Christmas greetings. We'd have to put some other stuff with it. Or, oh, you know what else I have? I don't think the blue goes with that. Well, I don't know. Maybe it does. I have the puppy. I have a different dog. But that's got that aqua on it. I don't like that. Not on this one. Um, I also have... Hmm. I also have this pair of mittens that we could put on there. And we could put... And then what I do is do a piece of string um, between the two mittens. Nope, not that. I also have a... blue pair of mittens. I have pink. Oh. I have the pink and I don't think the blue goes so well on that. I thought the pink was okay. Okay. Do you guys want mittens? For the focal? Do you want Christmas greetings for the focal? Or do you want the snowman for the focal? And if you don't like that blue around there, I can fussy cut that out. Or the dog, I guess. So tell me what you want for the focal. That's cute. The snowman. I have one vote for the snowman. Two for the snowman. Anybody else? <laughs> Another for the snowman. Okay. Now, should I leave? Here's what it looks like. It's not terribly contrasting. Should I leave the um, border around it? It's kind of an aqua or a seafoam color. And it doesn't look horrible against that plaid. Oh, I had one for Christmas greetings, but I have three for snowman. Maybe four for snowman. We'll use all of them. Can I pet the puppy? You can. Here, I'll hold him up. Okay. Pet the screen now, big mama. Isn't he cute? We'll use him. All right, so let's see now what we want to put with that, because I can't just have that by itself. Now, I will tell you what I'll do. I think this one's empty. I've got some... Hmm. I hear it moving around in there. A uh, wink of Stella. Oh, I do have some in there. How about if we wink of Stella his hat? Or the flowers? So wink of Stella. <laughs> I can only give you a picture. So wink of Stella his hat and the flower? Just the flower, just the hat. What do you think? Well, I definitely want to do his hat. And make it a little bit sparkly. Oh, 
so cute. I guess you have to use sparkle in Christmas stuff. I have one hat, one flower. Well, I definitely want to do the hat. I can do the flower too. All right, I'm being quiet because I'm concentrating. Okay, there's his hat. I don't know, can you see the sparkle? Yeah, there it goes. You can see the sparkle. Oh, and then the heel and toe of the sock. That's a good idea. So it's not glitter, Paula, but it is sparkly. Thank you, Mimi. All right. How's that? Do we need to do the flower, too? Yay or nay from everybody. I know that Tammy wanted the flower. There. Yes to the flower. Okay. We'll have quite a bit of sparkle on this piece. Oh, that's pretty. That's really, it just brings it alive. Very pretty. I love this Wink of Stella. If you guys don't have this, I highly recommend it. Because it's not over-the-top glittery, but it sparkles. So as you, you know, turn the page or turn it in the light, yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Can you see all that pretty sparkle on there? I don't know if you can see the flower sparkle, but it's there. Definitely you can see the hat in the stocking. All right. Yeah, I have the top of his hat. It's very sparkly. Don't want to overdo it with the sparkle. All right, now what shall we put? I have this little December. We could put something else on the other side, if you guys think that goes. Um, let's see what else I have in here that we could use. I have a Wink of Stella in, oh, oh, a bunch of colors. I only have the clear. Does it work well in other colors? I'm just looking for the right thing to go up there. I don't know if we can fit 
that in there and Oh, hi, Julie. All right. What do you guys think about that? Too much behind him? How are you doing, Julie? I didn't realize you had surgery till somebody just mentioned it the other day. So I hope you're healing well um i don't know about this joy oh paula did you just oh where's my birthday list did i miss a birthday and I was trying to be so good about that. I made the birthday list. And now I don't even see it on my desk. Oh, I have to get better at that. All right. Paula just had a birthday. So everybody raise. I'm drinking a Diet Sprite. Everybody raise your glass. Let's toast to Paula. Happy birthday. And sing along with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paula. Happy birthday to you. Cheers. Now I got to be on a mission to find that list where I put it. You know, I am just so damn absent minded. It's not even funny. Oh, I hate it. not where I thought it would be and I know there's some um, December birthday so I'm gonna have to find that list I will Let's see, what shall we put behind him? You know what would be appropriate behind him would be some snowflakes. If I found some little snowflakes to put on there. These are my favorites. Let's use some of these. I love these. How about instead of anything else papery, how about if I just put... I have some with blue on them, but this doesn't really. Nope, I think we just need the four up top. I don't think we need any more. What about just that? And then maybe I could put a Merry Christmas or something across the bottom. What do you guys think about that? Paula says. I think so too. And then I'll put some backing paper on it and um, adorbs. It is adorbs. We've got some sparkle on the snowman. up all right 
Now I'm going to go back and show you guys. So some of you came in after I showed what I worked on yesterday. And so I'll go back and show you that. Actually, this is a little bit heavier, so I'm going to... He's a real retro snowman. Uh, maybe I can get one more in here. One more right there. And then that's five. That's the odd number that I always look for. There. I'm gonna push those down. Look at that guy! I think I'll round the corners and just make this a journal card instead of a tag. Next time we'll have to make a tag shape. Um, actually, you got your hair. <laughs> Paula. That comment could elicit many different responses, and I'm just not even going to go there. I hope you get it out successfully. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Um, it, it Well, freezing is 32 degrees, but it will, um, it will snow at like 40 degrees because it, forms it freezes so much up in the upper atmosphere that it still will come down as snow so i don't i think wherever the snowflakes form wherever in the upper atmosphere i think that has to be at 32 or below because 32 is freezing but i don't think it has to be 34 outside like where we are I know, Julie, I was the zipper on your chest. Oh, you have chest hair. <gasps> Paula, I never knew. Boy, that's a that's a good thing to know. We learned a little about Paula today. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's look at the things that we finished, and then we'll, we're at an hour and three minutes. Okay, some of these were things that I did offline. Put these back so I don't spill them. Oh, wow, that could definitely, it could, it could snow. So we did the snowman. We did the little flip. And then I finished this yesterday. I did this little Christmas ornament. And then I also did this little flippy notepad. So I've got a table full of stuff to take a picture of. I know that's what you mean, Paula. I'm just giving you a hard time. You know that. That was funny when you said it was on your chest. You got to be careful what you say around here because you never know how it's going to be interpreted. All right. So there's my picture for the thumbnail. Oh, hi, Penny. Or just <laughs> go 
good laugh for the morning. Yep. Alrighty, y'all. That is everything new for our journal that came out of today. Some I did yesterday. I'll do some backing today and um, some other things, but I think we're going to have an awesome journal. I think it's going to be great. And I think based on what I'm seeing here that I'm, I'm thinking maybe the burlap cover with something over it, I think might be nice, but we'll see. Cause we have a lot of retro in here. All right, everybody. Um, That's it for today. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Remember the thumbs up. Please give me a thumbs up. I am at 1,006 subscribers, you guys. So I have... Oh, and here I have been crooked. No, I guess I'm not crooked. Um, right. I will get Santa's glitter today before the day is out. I'm going to go work on... Um, night lights here in a minute but yeah well i'm gonna go have some food first and then wow lots of ephemera today i'm so excited yeah thank you marty i um your message how did you send it i have not seen it um hang on did you send it via messenger Um, it's not in my personal account. Let me see. Tell me how you sent it. Oh, email. Haven't seen it yet. Hang on. Let me look. You sent it to Inked Pulp, I'm assuming. Um, no, I don't have an email from you. When did you send it? I don't have anything from you. Try, I, somebody else had a really hard time sending me an email to my, um, oh, yeah, I did. Um, can you put it in Messenger? Um, either on my Cheryl Foyles, um, messenger, or you can send it to Ink Pulp. I'll go back and look, but I don't, I'm not seeing it. All right. It is lots of cuteness. And that takes us to the end of this session. And, um... You can still send a message on Facebook, even if we're not friends. Um, or we, we could friend each other. But yeah, we can, we can still do messages. All right, ladies, you guys have an awesome day. I love you all. Thumbs up if you haven't already. Um, and we'll be back. Let's see, today is... Tuesday, right? So tomorrow, we'll be back tomorrow with more ephemera making. All right. Have a wonderful day. Bye.